In this problem, we have to find the area of the triangle given these vertices, and we're going to use the determinant to do it. So the formula for the area of the triangle with these vertices, x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3, is given by the following. So big D is equal to 1 half times the determinant of... And basically, you just put the ordered pairs uh, like this, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. Pretty easy to memorize. And then you just put ones in the third column like this. And this will give you um, the area of the triangle with um, these vertices. Uh, and now, if it's negative, you just have to make sure it's positive. So um, you basically take the absolute value of the answer here. So take the absolute value. So when you're done working this out, um, you know if you get uh, a negative answer, uh, just make sure to take the absolute value. Okay, so let's work it out. See what we get. So this is equal to one half times the determinant of. So zero zero. That's our x one y one. So it'll just be zero zero and then one. And then we'll have zero two. 0, 2, and then 1. And the last one is 1, 4, and then 1. And let's go ahead and use uh, cofactor expansion to do this. So this is equal to 1 half, and I'm going to put a giant bracket here. So let's use the first row. So it'll be 0, okay, 0, times, and then it's always negative 1, remember from cofactor expansion, and it's row plus column. So first row, first column, so 1 plus 1 times, and then if you cross out the first row and first column, you get 2, 1, 4, 1. That's the minor, right? So just using cofactor expansion along the first row. So this number here, always a negative 1 to the row plus column, so 1 plus 1. And if you cross it out, you see what's left? 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, plus 0. Now it doesn't matter what goes here because it's going to go away, but I'll write it. Negative 1, row plus column, so first row, second column. So 1 plus 2. Cross out the first row and second column, and you're left with 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1. Again, cross that out, cross that out. You have 0, 1, 1, 1. Plus the last number, which is 1. Negative 1. And then again, row plus column. So first row, third column. So 1 plus 3. And then cross this out, cross this out. We have 0, 2, 1, 4. All right. Beautiful stuff. So this is going to be equal to 1 half, bracket, all of these things go away. So 0 plus 0. This will be uh, 1 because it's an even number, right? Negative 1 to an even power is 1 times, and this will be 0 times 4 minus uh, 2 times 1. Okay, this is equal to, going kind of fast, 1 half. Um, this is 0, so we're just going to get negative 2 here. Oh, this is interesting. So we do get negative 1. So remember at the beginning we said, you know, you have to take the um, absolute value if you get a negative number. So the final answer would just be 1, right? You just make, make it positive. So the area is 1. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.